Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we were doing is uh, taking a look at the value of ratios and comparing different ratios, finding out if they indeed had the same value or did not have the same value and the impact that would have on a specific problem. So, for example, in this problem here, we have a uh, new playlist and uh, uh, 100 of your friends listened to it and uh, they shared it. They either liked the new playlist or they did not like the new playlist. So, um, one student, uh, not high or not e, uh, said the ratio of the number of people who liked it, the playlist, to the number of people who did not like the playlist is 75 to 25. Dylan said that for every three people who liked it, one person did not. So uh, do these two kids agree? Do they not? Prove your answer using the values of the ratio. So I guess my first point here is, there, well, there are a lot of ways to solve this problem. The first way is we can take both of these ratios and right away try to identify the value of the ratio. So here's the first ratio. And this is a like, so I'm going to put a little up arrow and down, down arrow. Right? If they liked it, they had a little thumbs up or up arrow. And if they didn't like it, a little down arrow. I like doing that because it identifies the number with what the situation is uh, so that things can stay consistent. Because in the other, the second ratio, we have a 3 to 1 deal. And yes, 3 does, uh, does coincide with that 75. And the 1, which is a dislike, goes with the 25, which is also a you know, a dislike situation. So uh, the value of a 3 to 1 ratio is already 3 to 1. So the value is 3 to 1. Okay, it's it's it's, it's lowest form. There it is. Now I have to figure out the 75-25 deal and the value of that particular ratio. So a couple of ways we can do this. Uh, we can turn this into a fraction. We can rewrite the ratio this way. And I do notice that this ratio is equivalent to 3 over 1 because I can divide both of these guys by 25. There's one way of looking at it like that. And if this is a 3 to 1 ratio, that means I still have a 3 to 1 value. Okay, So these values match, which means that, yes, uh, not he and Dylan do agree. They're actually saying the same thing. Okay, Another way to look at this, we can do this in a diagram form. We can have the, uh, the up arrow. We can have the down arrow, the like and the not like. Um, kind of situation here. Actually, I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to use like and not like. Okay. We have a like situation. We have a not like situation. Here we go. And my 3 to 1, so 3 to 1 is my value. To 1. I'm going to see if the 75, 25 really works. So if this was worth 75, the like, and this was worth 25, I'm just going to plug in 25 here. Do they match? Does everything work out? Does the value of each of these boxes match the value of that box there? Well, here I notice I have three boxes which make up my 75. So I'm going to take my 75. I'm going to divide that by 3. So I find the value of each individual box. 3 goes into 7 twice. For a total of 6, I subtract. I get 1. I bring down my 15. 3 goes into 15, 5. For a total of 15, I subtract. I have nothing left. Indeed, each of these boxes is worth 25. So I'm good to go. And once again, I prove that these guys are equivalent. Now, the third way to do that, do this, is to take my value, 3 to 1, and compare it directly to my 75 to 25 by building one of these little bridges. And saying like a C value bridge kind of thing here, my multiplicative value. In other words, what do I do to 3 to get 75? And that is a times 25 situation, okay? So a multiplicative value of 25. Does that hold true for the next one? 1 times 1 times 25, does that give me 25? And indeed, that is true. So they match. Therefore, these two ratios are indeed equivalent, okay? Because they share the same value, um, and those values are the same, okay? So that's basically it. Okay, folks, that's it. Take care. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.